What's up everybody? I'm JJ and this is DoorGunner47 and today I've got the CZ Scorpion EVO 3 S2 Micro. A semi-automatic straight blowback operated pistol chambered in 9mm. But Before I get into the rest of the features about this pistol I want to start by saying that I'm not sponsored by any of the product manufacturers you see in this video. Everything you see in this video I've either bought with my own money or is on loan to me so I can make these videos. With that being said, let's get into the features. Let's start up here with the muzzle device. And CZ USA calls this a flash can. In my opinion, it doesn't really do anything for the flash, but it does look cool. I'll give it that. Underneath it, though, is going to be half by 28 threads. So you can remove this with just a simple armor's wrench. You can fit in these slots, and it'll twist right off. Standard threads. Uh, those threads are attached to a 4-inch cold hammer forged barrel, which I really like because... The cold hammer forged to me is the best forming process. Um, the durability and the accuracy of this barrel is going to last a very long time. On top of that is going to be HB Industries handguard, which has M-lock slots on the 3, 6, 9 o'clock positions, which allow you to put on pretty much any M-lock accessory that you can get your hands on. Um, I have A3 Tacticals uh, plus 10 angled forward grip. So it's not a vertical grip. It's still angled. Uh, otherwise, I would have to make this an SBR just because of that grip. Um, the charging handle is ambidextrous. It can be swapped out to both sides, and it is non-reciprocating. So it's not going to move back and forth during the cycle of the operation of the pistol. Um, on top of that, though, it does have a 1913 rail that will run into the upper receiver's 1913 rail. So that way you can put on... Uh, pop-up sights like I have here, the Magpul pop-up, uh, which I really like. They don't co-witness with my red dot though, but it's not, that's not a big deal. Moving on to the upper receiver, the upper receiver is going to be polymer and it's going to be monolithic, which means it's just a one-piece uh, upper receiver, not a bunch of parts put together to make one less stuff to malfunction, in my opinion. It does have the 1913 rail that does run the full length of the upper receiver. Um, and it does only have a one side ejection, which most, most pistols only do, but just letting you know that, um, cause I did have a question. <laughs> Somebody asked me and I just figured I'd answer. It has these little, uh, almost D ring, uh, parts on here. So you can run paracord through and you can still, uh, attach a sling to it. And you do have the capability to add braces. If you, if so, if you shoot, so choose, I have A3 Tacticals uh, stabilizing brace on here. And you can also put stocks on here. They do make, um, manufacturers make aftermarket stocks. So that way you can make this an SBR. On to the lower receiver. The lower receiver is going to be polymer and it houses the fire control unit and the magwell. Um, it, on the magwell, it, you will see that it has a paddle-like magazine release which is pretty cool similar to other uh, other styles of firearms out there you do have an ambidextrous safety selector on here uh, I did swap this out I put HP Industries uh, low profile on here just because it dug into my hand a little bit and you can swap out the, the grips uh, it did have that crazy CZ grip on there I put Magpul's um, pistol grip on here which I really 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 like the bolt release is only going to be on one side it's on the left side uh, which is not a big deal it's just something you gotta you gotta practice with get, train out there get out there and train at the range with um, so moving on to a lot of some of the pros right I do like that it's extremely modular um, that it's extremely compact it does fit in the bags uh, I could pretty much take it anywhere and you know, it'd be concealed, which is great. I mean, it's the point of concealing a firearm. Uh, some of the cons, though, is that I did have to swap out some of the stuff, like the grip and the safety selector. And the trigger, the trigger's a little heavy. It comes in about 8 pounds, um, which for most people is pretty heavy. But HB Industries makes a light trigger spring kit that can drop it down to 6 pounds, they say. Or you can put in a Franklin Armory Binary, which I have in a couple of my other CZs, and it dropped it down to about six pounds too. But 
It's a lot more fun. Uh, another con is as of 2020, they no longer make the CZ Scorpion S2 Micro. It has been discontinued. So trying to get a hold of one might be a little di bit difficult. But if you can, I, I say do it. It's, it's a great, great pistol. I mean, it's extremely, in my opinion, it's light. Even with the, a, a loaded magazine. But it fits great in my hands. It's fun to use. It's easy to use. And it's a straight blowback operation. I mean, it's a simple, reliable system. So if you can, get a hold of a CZ Scorpion S2. Because uh, I think you'll enjoy it. If you like the content in this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in that comment section. And if you didn't like the video, let me know in that comment section as well. And uh, be f feel free to share it with a friend. We'll see you in the next one.